morning everybody thought I'd give you a chance to see I'm not always so beautiful <laughs> this is the way I look in the morning <laughs> pretty pretty pathetic um, something the Lord put on my heart is uh, I realize not everybody is equipped to street preach not everybody you know you just you feel like I know how, how I know the feeling because I was once there. You, said, you know, I don't have the the right words. I don't. I can't speak well. I'm. You know, I just. You know, I want to share my faith, but I, I just. I can't be a street preacher. I don't know how. You know, I don't. I don't have the equipment. I don't have. Just. I'm just fearful. You know, all these things. And um, so last night. What I did is I went back to my roots. I went back to doing something that I did when I very first became a Christian. I didn't know anything about street preaching. And I remember all I had was a handful of gospel tracts. And, and I just went out on a corner somewhere. And, um, <laughs> and I didn't know what to say. I mean, I was unlearned. I didn't know the Bible. I just said... God wants you to have this, <laughs> but you know, and I've come a long ways, and and through time, that's the way the way it happens. It, it's built inside you, like a, like a brick house, brick by brick by brick, until eventually you got this whole house built out of brick, and and that's the way faith is. That's and it's just taking that step of faith. Just it's like. Uh, my brother Tony Ransom used to tell me uh, the the guy that my blessed brother that discipled me in the faith and and he told me that there's fear bar barriers and and he said the devil throws it's like it's just like this you know this caution tape you know the devil throws up you know like when the police put caution tape around a crime scene it's just a piece of tape you can walk right through it and once you just plow right through that caution tape that the devil throws up this boldness comes on you and um but the the key is you have to in your own build get your own courage up enough to just walk through that fear barrier and the holy spirit will take over the holy spirit will engage after you take that step and so um i thought i would show you it's just a matter of just get get yourself a handful of tracks get out there on the street and tell somebody about jesus how y'all doing tonight believe in heaven and hell Thanks, man. you know where you're going then if you died tonight? How's it going? You guys believe in heaven and hell? You know where you're going if you die? Hello. You guys know where you're going if you die? You believe in heaven and hell? There's a heaven or hell. We've been given the right to choose. How you doing tonight? How are you? Believe in heaven or in hell? You know, there's, we've been given the right to choose. Jesus bought and paid for that right, man. You got the right to choose. I appreciate that, man. Have a good night. All right, you too. Well, I don't know how How you doing tonight? How you doing, man? Can I share something with you? You believe in heaven and hell? You know where you're going if you die? Yes, I do. You do? Where do you think you're going? I want to go to heaven. How do you know? Because I just know. How do you know? I mean, because I believe. Believe what? I believe that I'm going to go to heaven. Just believe in you're going there's going to get you there? Believe in God. Jesus said, except, the, except we shall be born again, Jesus said, we cannot see the kingdom of God. So there's only one way to be saved, and that's through faith in Jesus Christ. Absolutely. And if you never, have you ever been born again, ever asked Jesus to come into your heart and become Lord of your life? All right, well, praise God then. Well, all right, God bless you. <laughs> you too. How 
How you doing, sir? Can I share something with you? I get like a phone. Can I share something with you? You guys believe in heaven and hell? Do you know where you're going if you die? Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the lie. How you doing today? Can I share something with you? Thank you. You know where you're going if you were to die? You don't have to. How you doing, sir? Can I share something with you? Do you believe in heaven or hell? Hi. Can I share something with you guys? Do you believe in heaven or hell? Life or death? No, thank you. After death? What's that? Are you recording? I might be. How you doing tonight? Do you believe in heaven or hell? Do you know where you're going if you die? How you guys doing tonight? Can I share something with you? Do you believe in heaven and hell? The Bible says, except we shall be born again, we cannot see the kingdom of God. How you doing, sir? Can I share something with you? Do you believe in heaven and hell? You know where you're going if you die? How you doing? Can I share something with you? How you doing, ma'am? Can I share something with you? You believe in heaven and hell? Oh, my dad's pastor. Oh, all right. Do you know Jesus? I do very well. Awesome. How's it going? Good. Good. Keep up the good work. Thank you. How you doing, sir? Good. You believe you? in heaven and hell? I do. You know where you're going when you die? How you doing today? Can I share something with you? you believe in heaven and hell? Can I share sure, something with you? you. I'll read this. How you guys doing? Can I share something with you? You believe in heaven and hell? Uh, you, we've been given the right to choose. Jesus bought and paid for that right with his own blood. And he rose again. We've got good news for you tonight. There's life in Jesus Christ. Oh, oh that's okay. I'm good on all that, baby. How you doing today? Good Can I share something with you? You believe in heaven and hell? Yes, I do. Do you, you, you know where you're going when you die? Yes, you keep that and read it. How's it going, man? You guys heard the good news? There's life in Jesus. Hi. There's life in Jesus. Yeah, I know it's right. Excuse me. Excuse me. How you guys doing tonight? You heard the good news? There's life in Jesus Christ. Okay. It's hope in the cross. How you doing tonight? You heard the good news? It's life in Jesus. Thank you. How you doing? It's the point of the man wants to die after death of judgment. The Bible says it's appointed the man wants to die after death of judgment. You know you. how you'll be found on judgment day? Have you heard the good news? There's a can be found innocent to the lack of evidence. <clears throat> How y'all doing? The Bible says it pointed to everyone wants to die and after death comes to judgment. How, you know how you'll be found on that day? You can be found innocent due to lack of evidence if you trust Jesus. How you doing, sir? You heard the good news? The Bible says it's appointed to everyone wants to die and after death we're going to face the judgment, but you can be found innocent, man. How's it going tonight? Can I share something with you? The Bible says we've all sinned against the holy God and the penalty is, is eternal separation from God. But the good news is you don't have to be found guilty. You can be found innocent due to lack of evidence. If you, well, if you let Jesus exchange your sin for His righteousness. Oh, yeah. I think so. You can't pass out to go.
How's it going tonight? Can I share something with y'all? Thank you. So what did we come over here for? Can I share something with you guys? We did already. Oh, I did? Okay. How y'all doing tonight? Can I share something with you? Thank you? It's pointed that everyone wants to die and then the judgment. We're going to have to face God one day. You can be found innocent if you trust Jesus. What? You know the Bible says we've all sinned against the holy God and the penalty is death. That's eternal separation from God in a place called hell. The good news is you can be found innocent on judgment day if you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Thanks for your kind work, sir. Thank you. you have a good night. How's it going tonight? Can I share something with y'all? There's hope in Jesus. The Bible says we're sinned against the holy God. The penalty is eternal separation from Him, but the good news is we don't have to go to hell. Have you heard the good news, man? You don't have to, you don't have to die and go to hell. You don't have to go to hell. If you don't know Jesus, that's where you're headed. But Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And you can have life in Him. Here you go, sir. Thanks, man. Uh -huh. Because of the law, we've broken the our law. We're lawbreakers before a holy God. God of eternal life. Glory to God, did you hear what I'm saying tonight?